is up my kings, my queens, my royals in between? I'm Lord Rossnell. This is Pokemon Fool's Gold and we're continuing the Nuzlocke. If you missed last episode, you missed out on a creepy haunted uh, Poke Center with mutant uh, zombie nurse joys. At least I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, we left off trying to choose between uh, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. And because it's Pokemon Fool's Gold, it's not even actual like their original form. So it's like, which one do we choose? Now, I think I already have what I have in my head. So do you think we're going to go with Charmander, the Dark Fire? Do you think we're going to go with Squirtle, the Water Dragon? Or do you think we're going to go with Bulbasaur, the Fire Grass? Uh, odd choices, right? But either way, if you end up enjoying the content, definitely drop a like and a sub. It'll let me know I'm doing a good job. It'll let the algorithm know I'm doing a good job. And then it'll push it out to more people. Then they'll be able to enjoy. And then I'll get closer to that 1K mark. And then we can get to YouTube Burner, which will be very nice. And plus, if you end up liking fan-made Pokemon games, Soulsite games, or retro gaming, this is going to be a good place for you. But enough with that being said. If you didn't already put it down in the comments, uh, we're going with Squirtle. Because Squirtle's my boy. Also, Ayo Buddha, how's it going? How is your Tuesday? Might really have to think about that. Uh, if you're new here, you will realize very quickly i'm bad at knowing what day it is uh give the nickname mm. i know you weren't actually going for a nickname there buddha but i i'm going i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna stick i'm gonna uh, steal your squizzle and that's going to be the nickname unless somebody comes up with something better uh quiz Turtle. God, I wish I could just use the keyboard for this. Okay, cool. So we did that. Alright, Squizzerl, you're going to go into the PC because you are definitely not going to be strong enough. But if something goes horribly wrong and we need a new Pokemon, uh, you're going to be in the first in line, buddy. Because, oh, already level 20. That's at least nice. That's at least nice. Doing well? Good. Glad to hear it, Buddha. Alright, um, oh yeah, for anybody new in here, as you can see, as I'm going to go through all these, th everything's different. Everything's different. Uh, Fight Milk Hill here, aka Pidgey, doesn't look super different, but different, trust me. How goes the run? Uh, it's been going good so far. I think last week was a little rough because we had like a string of people just getting like knocked out out of nowhere, but I think we, uh... I think we really bounced back with getting Nesperus here, which is uh, just a really fancy uh, Lapras. That's the word. Okay, well, there's that explored, so we did that. So I think today we should definitely make it to uh, Chuck in the fighting Pokemon gym, which might not technically be fighting Pokemon. I don't know what it's going to end up being. It's going to be interesting. I think we also caught our Pokemon from this area because we're doing a Nuzlocke so we can't pick up anything else so I don't think I'm going to catch anything here. No, look at the little skip loom. But yeah, everything's going fine. Everything's going decently well. I, I feel like I want to try and aim for level 35 before we get the Chuck. I don't think that's going to be realistic necessarily, but I mean if I can pull it off, I can, I'm not going to be mad about it. But we're going to see how we go. Mm -mm. Also, definitely let me know if the game seems a little loud. I feel like it feels a little loud in my ears. Good old Scizor. Also, don't be surprised if... If things get a little funky, because uh, running both... OBS and Twitch Live Studios. Not fun. Like, I've, I, I'm assuming it's just really intense of having to run both. Uh, Togetix, that should be... Uh, Rubber Gone's gonna be the way to go. Big old dinosaur Togepi. Seems fine. Uh, to me, might just be... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Not gonna disagree with that because 
It feels louder in my ears than usual. Uh, no, that's the wrong uh, config sound. Yeah, because I normally have it at 50, but let's drop it to like a 40. Okay, that feels a little bit better. Not, not as loud in my ear balls. Hmm, okay, growl. I, you know what, I can respect it. I can respect it. Alright. I don't know when Rubber Gone evolves, but I think we're getting close. Which I'm very excited for, because uh, the evolve form of Rubber Gone, absolutely wonderful. Also, have we seen a Hitmonchan? I don't think we've seen a Hitmonchan. We have, he's Fire Fist. Right, 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 right. Uh, oh, but why am I out here using Water Gun? I got Surf. What am I doing? Ha! Ah! Sometimes I forget that uh, Rubber Gone is also still part normal. Hmm. You know what? We'll take that. We will take that. That works. Well, Rubber Gun's not going to be used again for a minute. Oh, perfect timing. You look at him, he's so cute. Look at him. Look at that Porygon 2. He's so cute. Look at his little hat. Okay, Porygon 2. Rubber, normal water. <laughs> it's only two feet tall. 72 pounds. Uh, these buoyant Pokemon are commonly found in whirlpools, but never quite reach the bottom. Oh, isn't that adorable? All right. And I know I mentioned this earlier before, but TikTok, I'm not going to bother adjusting the team on there. You'll have to technically live, you know, vicariously through Twitch, or you should come over to Twitch. Biscuits and Triscuits imply monoskits. Not sure how that necessarily works out, but mm, magic, magic. Welcome on in. Um, uh. Wait, does somebody have a status effect, or is that just telling me that somebody's almost dead? Oh right, I forgot. Kite runner got burnt. Hmm. I might need to go fix that. I get it now. Bye, try mono. I understand now. I get it. I get it. Took It took me a second, but I got there. I'm like, I feel like this should make sense, but it just doesn't. But th that's, th that's the kind of level of thinking that I love that comes out of, like, just, like, people having smoke sessions and whatnot. Modern day cookies, modern day biscuits are technically mo Hmm. I can see that. I can see that. I mean, how? I'm trying to think. Like, are there anything, like any kind of like biscuits and or cookies that are like twice baked or three times baked? I mean, I'm sure there probably are, just I've never seen them. Yeah, I kind of, like, I understand why they don't have music here, but I feel like they, they could have kept the, the creepy, uh, like, Lavender Town-esque music instead of just, like, going pure quiet. I feel like that mildly missed opportunity. All right, another trainer battle. Okay, we've seen a Nido Queen, but we've not seen a Nidorina. If I remember correctly, I think you're part rock. I mean, you look like you're sh you should be part rock. All right, uh, Rubber Gone. Uh, let's hope that they don't have a uh, like a fighting move. Oh my God, he's so cute. All right, roll out. Actually, let me just move that over a bit so I can see that better. 
If you and the cookie are both baked, does it count as twice baked? That's a good question. Not very effective. Then what the crap are you? Um, hmm, hmm. Uh, let's go Dino. Are you supposed to be grass? Maybe? Alright, well, let's try magnitude, see where that gets us. Magnitude died, and we love to see it. Hmm. Maybe grass? I mean, we're just gonna Dragon Rage at this point. There's no way you have 40 HP left. Oh yeah, Buddha. Uh, I meant to ask, how was uh? Wait, were you doing? Uh, was it? Was it Hollow Knight? Were you doing more Hollow Knight? I feel like you were doing more Hollow Knight. How's that been going? <laughs> it's so fluffy. All right, I think I can work with magnitude here. Okay. Oh, that was even with the crit. Hot damn. Mm, this might take... Nope. I was going to say that might take Tauros out. Mm, okay, that was a lot of XP. Love that. Uh, I have no idea what Arcanine would be. I feel like we've seen a Growlithe. Ooh. Interesting. My first thought is Fire and Ice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Dino's still in. We're good. Magnitude 5. Not good. Hmm, even with super effective. Damn. Okay, uh, we're definitely swapping. Can't put out Nesperus, because that's going to be rough. I think Campfire would theoretically be good, but I think Rubber Gun is probably our best bet. Yeah, doing 112% playthrough and all bosses. So I'm doing Pantheon 5 as well. I'm in love with the game, to be honest. I mean, anybody that I've ever seen play it always ends up saying it's just such a great game. Like, I definitely need to play it myself at some point, because I know I've heard nothing but good things. There we go. Well, whenever I can get Game Pass back again, I'll, I will definitely have to add it to my list of things to do. Oh, item. Hello? And I'm not a Metroidvania guy? I haven't played that many Metroidvanias myself. So I can't say one way or another if I am or not. I think I maybe tried like one or two and they didn't, I was gonna say they didn't like fully grab me type of deal. Oh, right, okay. I thought that was, the up was in another spot. It's not, okay. That makes sense. This makes more sense. I'm sitting here trying to think, did I? I don't think I didn't, yeah, I didn't need to do, have to do any off-stream grinding, so the time should be accurate. So yeah, it's just nighttime because it's six o'clock where I'm at. And onto the bike. And then I don't think we have anything else to do. Let's see. Do we find everybody here? Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Smooth Shrew. I mean, I... Yeah, I can't imagine you're gonna give us a lot of XP, right? Like, it's not probably not even more... I mean, 252's not bad. I'm not mad about it. Yes, uh, Giovanni? 
I am definitely playing some Pokemon, but this is Pokemon Fool's Gold. It's a ROM hack of Pokemon Crystal where they've added in like a couple extra routes and they've added in like an extra like 200-ish Pokemon as well as they've changed the typing of every Pokemon in here. So it's a whole bit of extra, which I have been absolutely enjoying. We're currently working through a Nuzlocke uh, down below if you're watching on TikTok, obviously. Uh, you can see the team that we currently have, though we recently up evolved our Porygon, which is the little rubber duck looking one. And it's an even cuter rubber duck, but because TikTok Live Studio isn't like the world's most, uh, you know, easy to deal with thing to set up, I am not taking the time to update uh, that as we're going along, probably in between ad breaks on the purple app, I will deal with that. Um, yeah. But definitely lots of fun. If you enjoy Pokemon, highly recommend checking it out. Oh, also, again, if you are on TikTok and you're watching right now, definitely if you said something and I didn't respond to you, feel free to send it again because the tag the the chat the way this is set up feels very weird just seeing everybody like that takes the time to join it's like kind of neat but it makes the chat move so fast like if someone says something it's gone within a few moments unless like it gets slowed down so definitely don't feel bad about repeating yourself all right so you are part Deal. So our best bet would actually no, none of this is our best bet. Campfire, go. You are our best bet. Which I think we need a dusk stone to evolve campfire. And for anybody just joining us, campfire is a Corsola. Yeah, fire's been good. And then fire spin take out rest of the way. Yeah, oh, damn. Uh, I I could hope. I could hope. I will say going through Pokemon 3D, this is one of the places where I lost a good chunk of Pokemon because I came in here thinking I'd be fine, and I got pleasantly surprised, or I guess unpleasantly surprised. Da -da -da. Never do I wanted a pet campfire until now, right? Like, these are the things that most people don't think about, but when you find out, you're like, yeah, yeah, you know what? A, a, a sentient uh, campfire would be a great pet. Da, 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 da. Shelter. I'm trying to remember. Just shelter. I think shelter is still part of uh, water. Hmm. Yeah, we don't really have any kind of counter specifically for this, so I guess let's stick with this for now. Uh, what does Mox Speed do? Mox Speed does enough. Mox Speed does enough. Steel Wing. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to Steel Wing. That'll at least give us some decent coverage. Nine, number nine, McMahon. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Um, we're gonna get rid of Gust. We do not need Gust. Shout you out. Sh shout out to number nine, McMahon. Be a real one for for following. If you want to be a real one, follow as well. God, Quillfish. <laughs> Quillfish is just one of the, like a sea mine. That's actually hilarious. Oh yeah, that's right. Mock Speed confuses. I forgot about that. Mm, Jotaro, don't die. Please don't die. Oh, thank God Jotaro thick.
Okay, so keep an eye out on Quillfish. Like, I figured, like, it would know self-destruct. I didn't think it would open with self-destruct. Go back to the tower. I wonder if it's still gonna be a Ampharos. Cause I don't I'm trying to think, does Amp do they keep Cause I know they add on the ghost line to the Ampharos line. But I don't remember if it actually stays electric or not. Cause I will say it looks like a ground ghost whenever it is an Ampharos. Yeah, because we just fought Uni. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, and I'm trying to remember, because I know one of these spots I need to, like, actually drop down. It's just, I don't remember where. So we're probably just going to go straight to the top and then work our way back down. Pidgey! Why do you got so Pidgey? I just realized... I don't know who came up with the the, the Pidgey, Pidgeotto uh, designs in this, but I feel like these ones need a little bit of work because the, the it has its, its like little chicken legs. Like, uh, like are, is that what you're just trying to go for? Is just show that the Pidgey line in this like kind of universe just skips leg day or like like I'm not 100% sure what you're going for here. Like, for the longest time, I thought it was, like, holding on to, like, a hanky for some reason. I'm like, okay, that seems, like, kind of weird, but, you know, boxing, uh, throwing in the towel, things like that. It's like, okay, that makes sense. No, it's, it's, it's weird little chicken legs. Huh. Go figure. Is that a... Do, do, do you got only Pidgeys? Are, are you a Pidgey trainer? Is that, is that, is that what's going on here? Like, you couldn't even give this guy nothing but Pidgeotto's. Like, I mean, I, I'm not here to judge. Like, if you want to be a Pidgey trainer, you be a Pidgey trainer. But I I don't know if I would agree with your choices. Ba -na -na, ba -na 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 -na, yep, just more Pidgeys. I mean, when... I'm interested to see what Pidgeot ends up looking like. Because we've seen Pidgeys and Pidgeotos, just never a Pidgeot. Like, I'm hoping by the time it becomes a Pidgeot, it actually at least does leg day once or twice, so it doesn't have literally, like, just pixel-thick legs. Because I think I need to go up at least one more, and then I drop try and drop down to whatever that middle room is. I will say buildings like this in uh, Pokemon 3D, those were really fun to explore. Okay, even though I probably shouldn't, I think we'll be fine. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think Jotaro is gonna lose to a Growlithe. All right, so we'll get Jotaro to 35, then we'll start running Kite Runner, and then our two flying types should be good for Chuck, which, again, I shouldn't necessarily, uh, maybe I don't do Kite Runner. I need to like try and diversify, because we don't know what things are going to change to. Um, you know what, we're gonna go Rubber Gone, because theoretically Chuck should still have a, uh, Polyrath? Like, I feel like that just makes sense. Yeah, so we want to drop down there. And if he's going to end up having a Polyrath, we already know Poliwag is ground type. So having something that's good against ground will be very helpful. 
bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, I'm never gonna get tired of seeing Meryl. It's just adorable. It's, it's 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 really goofy because of the ears, but it's still adorable no matter like how you go about it. When in doubt, surf. It, it has never done me wrong. Also thinking about it, I don't think I actually take took a look at the... Actually, then we're about to level up Rebogon. I will wait to look at the stats for when, you know, they level up. It'll just make more sense. Because that's going to get us down faster. Your trainer battle. Uh, Jasmine must be weird but sick about the Pokemon here. Uh, she won't even smile these days. That's not good. <laughs> okay. I can only imagine Krabby is a grass type in this, and that's supposed to be like, like little dandelions on its, on its uh, for, for its little claws. But I don't know. Uh, let's try a surf just just to see. Let's just let's just see. Okay, neutral damage. And a crit. Alright. Uh, 61 attack, 67 defense, 80 special. So us using surf's really good. Special defense. Okay, yeah. Da -da. I have no idea what Chinchao. Actually, wait, no, we've. Yeah, it looks like a weird stun fisk. Which I don't care for. And if anything, it makes me appreciate stun fisk a little bit more. Alright, not a surprise neutral damage. Ooh, now that's the real question. Are you gonna be part ghost? Are you gonna be like a water ghost? Let's find out. Swift. You are not ghost. So by that, you're probably dark type. Alright, cool. Alright, then go up one more. Ooh, item, hello. TM34. Alright, neat. Uh, what? Now the real question is, what is oh, TM34? <laughs> How's it going, Hunter? How is your Tuesday? Doing okay? 34, swagger. We're never gonna use it. Let's go! Oh, funny enough, Hunter, uh, I was editing down my uh, Diddy Kong Racing videos earlier today, and I'm on the one uh, part where you were talking about having to see your chiropractic, uh, your chi uh, chiropractor like once a week or something like that. How's your back been, man? Because I feel like I haven't heard you t needing to go to your chiropractor lately, and I will take that as a good sign. All right, we're definitely swapping here to campfire because fire good. Fire good against a night bird. It's better? Good, good. Glad to hear. Because back pain, no joke. Boom. I need to see him tomorrow, then we'll see after that. Okay. Ah, you can't counter a fire spin. Cool, that's a level for campfire. Not mad about that. Da -da -da. More Pidgeotto. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. We'll get Kite Runner out there. Got to, got to show off my shiny Pokemon, right? And go. Nice. And Aerial Ace. Neutral damage because we're flying normal. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Then item. I can't carry more items, and there's a rare candy there. Okay, um, interesting. Uh, curse old school games and having such a limited amount of space in your bags. Ooh, we got so many things to sell. What is this? Boost attack, but causes confusion. You know what? Actually, we might be able to sell that for good money. Is there anything that I could actually, like, just use one of right now that isn't gonna kill me? Actually, you know what? Uh, give the cherry berry to Repagon. Why not? You hold on to that. Ba -ba -ba. Is that really the first rare candy we have, or did I put the rare candies in... in the box? I'll have to check. And battle. And then, oh yeah, great. Now I'm gonna have to hope that whatever this is, I'll be able to pick up. Or else I'm gonna need to move things around again. Fun. Right, dark type. Water dark. So realistically, we're better off swifting. That shouldn't do a lot of damage. Yeah. I'm rubber and you're a weird fish monster. I, I don't know how to change that rhyme any more, so that, that that's where we're going to leave that. Ooh, cool. Ether. And then there shouldn't be any more battles. Okay, maybe there's at least one more battle. Which, you know, not a big deal. But now there's another item that we have to deal with. Uh, too many items. Not enough bag space. <laughs> he's got. He's just a little scuba boy. <laughs> All right, I'm probably gonna hit a recover after this, just in case. Because if you happen to be water fighting, I'm screwed. Oh, uh, that makes me really interested to find out what the rest of the Machop line ends up looking like. There we go, that's better. And Swift. It's, it's one of those things where it's like such a simple design change, but it's just so good. Alright, there's 33, two more, and then we can swap off. Kabuto. Oh yeah, it's, it just becomes a bug type, right? Or it's... Or is it water bug? I think it's water bug, right? Yeah, it's water bug. So it stays practically the same, but it loses its rock typing. Baboom! Noise. Alright, I think we're finally good. Ooh, good. Another super repel, which will be very useful when we decide to, uh, like, officially start hunting the, uh whatchamacallit, uh, legendary beasts or dogs, or cats, depending on how deep you want to get into the lore. Super potion, never mad about that. Uh, this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cinewood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave, uh, Corsi? Oh, it, they switched it to a Corsla. Okay, that makes sense. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Yes. Uh, okay, may I? Yep. Picture, picture, picture. Thank you for the follow, Goose. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Dun, 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 
Hell yeah, good, love to hear it. Alright, go heal up, and then I think we're good. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Well, thank you, Donnie. Appreciate you. But no, I hope you're having a good Tuesday, and I don't care about my Tuesday at all. How about that? How about them, Apple? But no, seriously, I hope you're having a good time, man. Uh, we don't need to talk to anybody or anything. We already picked up... I don't think we taught anybody strength, did we? We're gonna need to teach somebody strength. Alright, who wants to learn strength? Everybody except for Campfire, Rubber God, and Kite Runner. Okay, well, I feel like that makes sense. Uh, you know what? I think uh, Nesperus, like, it's a it's a three-headed Loch Ness monster. It it should. It's, it should be strong, right? It just makes sense. Uh, Dragon... Oh, uh, we're gonna get rid of safe card. Easiest choice. I am taking a, a BG3 break to do some chores. Honestly, fair. Also, kudos on you for having the willpower to take a break from BG3, because that game is wonderful. Figure your stream will be great for chores? Perfect. Nothing like some good background noise to help you do some chores, right? I'm not worried about no battle tower. Oh yeah, that's right. There's this new building here that's never been there, so we're gonna have to see what the deal with that is. Although you can't see it from here, Cinewood is across the sea. Yes. Hmm, there's a big building up ahead. What is it? Okay, so let's see what these new people are gonna say. The levels of the Pokemon I want to use are all different. I have to go train them now. You know what? Yeah, that's that's always the crux of this whole thing, right? Are you going to the Battle Tower? This is a, a secret, but if you want to win a whole lot, you can win special... Okay. Is this just the new way to the Battle Tower? I'm assuming uh, as I got snuck out from work, I can't bail out until I've won. Uh, I have to win it all. Yeah, yeah, you, you do what you gotta do. Wow reminds me of Pearl and Diamond days. I mean, maybe a little bit, but I will give Pearl and Diamond this. Their graphics are at least a bit better than this, but it's like definitely like I I love the old school feel of games back on the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, and the 3DS. All right, I don't think anybody here is gonna really give me anything. But how you doing, Grammy? How is your Tuesday? <laughs> DS was the best. I tr I really enjoyed the entire DS era. I will generally say I didn't care for Diamond and Pearl specifically, and I never actually ended up finishing them because I just couldn't get into them. And then the one copy of Platinum I had wouldn't hold a save because it was just busted, so I turned it back into GameStop and I just never went back to it. And I say this every single time, Diamond and Pearl are arguably the weakest games out of the entire Pokemon series, but just because that's the case does not mean they are bad games. They're just, they're just not good in comparison. But everybody has their own favorites, and I can completely understand. It's just no one can convince me otherwise that Diamond and Pearl deserve to be up. Now, I've heard nothing but great things about Platinum, and people have told me that, that Platinum fixes the majority of the problems that Diamond and Pearl has. Maybe one day I'll, I'll get around to it. At this point, it'll probably have to be through emulation, because... The odds of me finding a actual copy of Platinum anytime soon, that's reasonably priced. Oh, probably not gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen. All right, you, we're, we're battling. Bum, 
Alright. It's a rubber duck battle! My duck's better than your duck! My duck has a little hat! What does your duck have? Nothing! Oh no, minimize. Whatever will I do? Good thing I made sure to keep Swift for this exact situation. Because fun fact, we did a Nuzlocke of Pokemon 3D, which is essentially this, but, you know, regular, like, gold, silver, and, but, like, in a first-person perspective. And we essentially had a, almost a full team wipe to a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A quillfish that used minimize, like, three times in a row and became pretty much impossible to hit, and it just, like, slowly just murdered everybody. It was honestly devastating, and it was, like, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. Oh yeah, this is our first time being in this ocean, so that means... Right, this is the first time we ran into something we didn't... Yeah, I don't think we... Alright. I'm gonna assume you should be able to survive a surf. Now the real question is, if we can catch this tentacool, what do we nickname it? I'm not gonna go any further than that. I mean, I could probably get away with a water gun, maybe? Maybe, but... It's only level 20. Uh, a great ball should be fine. Get in the ball! Stay in the ball! One, two, three! Okay, alright. We've been over this game. You can't shake three times and then pop out. That's illegal. Try again. We were, we were pretty much there. Better. Uh, I always rename my Pokemon the name of their final evolution, but with proper casting. <laughs> this way I don't have to yell at every time I... <laughs> Honestly fair. Honestly fair. Alright, Tentacool. Jellyfish. So, still a jellyfish, but instead of Water Poison, it's now Water Psychic, which honestly, I like that. That's kind of neat. I also like the design of this. It's, it's a very interesting look at this. Uh, their movements are beautiful, but touching their tentacles will give you a nasty sting. Why do I feel like that's just the original Pokedex entry? I, f I, f I feel like that seems like a bit of a waste. All right. So tentacool, but it's water psychic. I'm trying to think. Trying to think. What would be a fun, a fun nickname? Uh, I don't think it'd be en enough, but I feel like I want to go like tentative, psychic, psychic cool. Oh, that actually. Oh no, wait. Yes. Why? God, why am I blinking on how to spell psychic? Like, this is like me trying to do math whenever, like, it's just, like, randomly sprung upon me. It's like, okay, what's this plus this? I'm like, I was not expecting to have to do a math question, so my brain's gonna need a second to catch up. Well, that's gonna be... Oh, oh. And we will take... <laughs> Night's not Cycrol. Cy Cycrol. So we'll, we'll, we'll plan ahead for if we have to end up using it, it'll be ready for when it evolves. Instead of Cycool, Cycrol. Which I feel like would also be a very good nickname for... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, of all form of Inke. Uh, thanks for using my sword system. That last book when you sent filled your box. Hmm. Well, we shouldn't realistically run into any more Pokemon that we can catch because we're not going to go to the well. We can't go to the Whirl Island, so that's not a big deal. We'll just have to remember to switch 
Pokemon whenever we uh, do the thing. Uh, get to a Poke Center next. Which I probably won't remember, and then that'll ruin my next catch that I have to try and do. Alright. I don't think we're gonna be able to do much to this, but let's let's see what we got. Dang. Even at not very effective, that thing exploded. I mean, granted, we're ten levels ahead of it, but still. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I know I say this like every single time I end up playing any of these games, but the Pokemon music, I can, I can never get tired of the Pokemon music. That's what our Squirtle will look like when it eventually evolves. Okay, General Rapid Spin. Not a big deal. If I could ever get into uh, making my own ROM hacks or anything like that, I would love to see if it'd be possible to like change things like the item restriction. Okay, so 41, so I could technically catch another. But it's nothing but tentacle, tentacle in the water, right? Oh hey look, a tentacruel. And it turns purple. Well, I wouldn't have been able to catch it anyways, and I'm not honestly not horribly worried about it. So, 41's technically off the uh, the catch list because you know does locks and whatnot, but still. Hmm. I'm hoping that OBS like kind of futzing with. The little purple app is not jacking up the recording. Because if that ends up being the case, then I won't be able to attempt the multi-streaming on the Tiki Talks. Because that that just ends up making things harder. But I will definitely make sure to double check this uh recording. Which we will do here in about eight-ish minutes. Because if if you're new here and you happen to be watching live in any capacity, every hour on the hour I have ads roll on the purple app, and whenever ads roll, I that's when I cut the video recording for the red play button app. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it it just feels like a pretty nice system overall. And I feel like it's worked out for me decently enough. Haha, you can't affect me. I'm assuming you used ghost moves that I wasn't paying attention to. Frozen Mango, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Also, I can't help but be happy uh, whenever the, that little Pedro song comes on. Whether it's... Not specifically because anybody may or may not be... Uh, actually following or not, it's just because it's genuinely just a fun song, and it's, it just makes me happy, makes me do a little jig, even though I'm very bad at dancing. Also, Frozen Mango, thank you for the rose, appreciate you. Now only... Now all I need to do is figure out how in the world any of that kind of like monetization type stuff works on TikTok, because I don't understand it, I've signed up for nothing of it, and yet... It still allows y'all to send me fancy emote thingies. Also, I'm genuinely surprised. I haven't seen TikTok yell at me, be like, hey, be sure to tell your people joining in to share your stream and all that, and or other random suggestions. Like, maybe it was just like a, because of the very, I did my very first stream yesterday, and it was like, hey, you should try and do this, but. Alright, so we got two of the level 35s, we're in the water, um, Dino's not gonna be good, Kite Runner's okay, but it's not really coverage. I guess Nesperus is our best bet. I mean, we're in the water, 
three-headed Loch Ness monster. I think it makes sense. Um, first things first, let's throw Dragon Breath up there. Yeah, I think Nespers will be fine. Dun, dun, ba, da, 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 da. I will say I kind of love that, like from behind, it looks it just looks like a three-headed Charmeleon. Hmm. Right, because we crit last time. We crit last time. I was like, wait, why did you not go all the way down? Because of the crit. That crit actually mattered. I think that's one of the things that I really should try and figure out if I can get someone on the team that or at least have someone learn a move that would help cover water types, because we definitely don't have, like, water type coverage whatsoever. We don't have any grass, we don't have any electric. So that would be really helpful. You have six Pokémon, but at least there are a variety of Pokémon. I mean, granted, it's not, like, the best variety of Pokémon, but bare minimum, like... You're, you're at least switching it up compared to other people we ran into who've, like, had, like, six Pidgeys. Yeah, I feel like Nespresso should be able to handle a, a self-destruct. That also being said, I know you're actually... Alright, let's go for the Confuse Ray. Because now thinking about it, I don't think I have anything on Nespers that would actually do well against Quillfish being Steel, because it's going to resist... Uh, yeah, it's going to resist everything we have, because we've got two Normals and a Dragon. Well, let's see if we can at least get the par Paralyzed. That'll be helpful. Wow, that, that legit did nothing. Okay. Not like a crazy amount of damage, but it is really just like hard tanking the dragon. There's the para. All right, now we'll switch to headbutt for a... Never mind. Never mind. Ah, Nesperus, no! Uh, Quillfish in this area again. I would have assumed Nespers would have been strong enough to withstand a self-destruct, but I guess that one was at least a bit closer in level. Uh, Big Sag, we just got Nespers too. So we barely got the user. Okay, add starting on purple lap here in a moment, so let's drop off Nesperus, figure out who we're gonna use, and then we'll probably call this episode here? I feel like that makes sense. Again, like, you can't be mad when you're listening to Pokemon music, it's just so good. And let me double check. Jake, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. Are you Jake from State Farm? That's my big question. Are you Jake from State Farm? Or are you just Jake from TikTok? All right, we got to come all the way down to Grave. Switch that. Da -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. All right, so, deposit. Nespris. Our time was short, but I had fun. Alright, change box again. Alright, switch back to box one. Now the real question is, do we go straight? I mean... I mean, I feel like we kind of have to. I mean, Grant, we double, I'll double down on water. We were just talking about wanting water coverage. 
We don't necessarily need any dragon. Do we go back to Weed Monkey? Do we finally give Weed Monkey the chance? Get that grass? I think that might be the right call. Yeah, yeah, I think I think having Weed Monkey would be a good call. Just give us that that extra little bit of coverage. All right, and then lucky for me, we should still have Weed Monkey here, so we can just do actually do a quick change. Open Weed Monkey. And then, ooh, we gotta adjust your size a little bit there, buddy. Also, if you're on TikTok, uh, I, I'm i actively keeping up with my team. I'll probably switch up my ch teams in between epi episodes, if you will. So, don't don't worry, I'll, up, I'll uh, do my best to update things. Alright, uh, yeah, no, ads are about to start, so let's go ahead, get into position, and then we'll do what we need to do. Alright, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for your time. I truly do appreciate it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're enjoying the content, definitely drop a like and a sub. Blah, blah, blah. You get it. There's, again, if you made it this far in the video, I'm assuming you probably already did all that stuff, right? But either way, thank you for your time. Truly do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one.